Well, we have officially checked into Sapphire Falls and you can uh, imagine my disappointment. I've been thinking this whole time we were checking into Portofino. Nope. My bad. <laughs> Wrong one. Oh wow, the pool looks really nice though. It's huge. Yeah, that's a super nice looking pool. And with the cabanas, so you guys can take a look at the cabanas down there. Taylor got us one of those. It's kind of nice. <laughs> this is why I like the GoPro to be rolling sometimes because you just get to see how long it actually takes us to make it from one oh, spot man. to another. Uh, it's always my fault. Having to stop and take photos or video for Taylor the entire time so she can make them reels. All right, so I finally get them in the room. Oh, those look pretty nice in here. So here we go, shot all on the GoPro. So the quality might not always be that great, but uh, two, I'm assuming full-size beds. They don't necessarily look like queen beds, but it is a really, really nice view like Taylor said. I mean, look at that. Mm -hmm. Nice high room. She said she requested as high as she could go or the highest floor we could get. The only thing we're missing is that space right over here. Like, I wonder what this is, like uh, some type of suite or something over here? It's like a whole I patio balcony. I too. It's big. But the pool looks awesome. So we've got that. And then uh, the room here, which I think is pretty nice. I like the bright colors. Uh, I like kind of the beachy feel. Looks pretty good. Mm -hmm. So we've got a coffee maker over here. I did bring my own uh, espresso maker. And I think I might try to use it. I think I can just push hot water through this thing, except whoever came in and cleaned didn't actually clean this because they left they left this used uh, coffee pot in there, oh, no. which is uh, disappointing. Is there a trash in here? All the way in the bathroom, I guess. Oh, way over there? Okay. Yeah. So we've got like a little chest for ice. We've got some drawer space in here. So we've got the fridge. Just a little mini fridge. Throw a few things in there. We were supposed to stop and get a bottle of water. We forgot. <gasps> we did forget. And then uh, we've got the bathroom over here, which there's probably a little bit of banding as you guys can see, but I love uh, the shower. It looks nice. I like the shower too. All the tile. Sliding door here to separate the two for uh, use over here at the sink. But yeah, quick little uh, overlook of the room, which I think does I think it's pretty nice. This will be a nice little place to hang out for the next uh, two okay. nights. Yep. Yeah. Ooh, buddy, it is warm out. All right, well, we have officially made it back to Universal. We made it. So today we're gonna head into uh, the actual Universal Studios, Studios Florida. Florida and we're gonna check out the new Minions restaurant. We are and the whole little like redone Minions area too. Yeah, it should be pretty nice. While we're here at Universal, uh, if you guys don't know, we've got a big group trip coming up. We're going to the Med and so yeah. I got a new bag to try out for while we're there, which is this thing. It's just like a big like chest mount bag. You can take out the GoPro on there and everything. But it also comes with like a little, what's this thing called again, Taylor? What, pouch? What am I looking for? Huh? I'm looking for a patch. A so patch? we're gonna go inside and see if they've got any patches in here that I can apply uh, to my bag. It what is, is, this? is so this a wallet? hot out right now. Yeah, I still really like uh, these passport holders. I do too. Oh. It's like a huge patch. Ooh, that's a huge, huge. It's hoping for something a wee bit smaller. I love that you like pretend you're a slither and even though you've tested into Gryffindor every Gryffindor time. Gryffindor every time. Yeah, let's walk over here and check Wait, out this. So what's whole... villain con? I don't know. Minion blast. Oh, I think this is this uh, like a minion blast. Is that like a game? I don't know. Like no luck obviously on the patches. So this whole area has just been redone for minions, and so we're gonna walk around and kind of check it out. We have no idea what Villain Con is, so we wanna go check that out. Uh, and then, of course, like I think I said earlier, we're gonna go get something to eat. Taylor's checking it Attempt out. Attempt to blast your way to Super Villain Stardom. 
Oh, okay. So you get like a, is it like uh, Men in Black? It or looks like, like a shooting game. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, awesome. So this whole area has been done or redone and it looks really nice. So let's go walk around and check it out. I don't think there's a express pass, so you oh, want to just ride it? It says yeah, 35. It. All right, let's go let's try it. it. It says 35 minutes. Yeah, it's drawing a track. Can use like a moving walkway. What? Love this. This whole like new redesign of uh, this walkway with minions is really really cool and really brings a lot of like color and life I think to uh, this yeah, area here. I in... love this like mural on the wall. Yeah, it's, it's really nice. So right here is the Minions Cafe. There's actually two different options that you can do. You can actually sit down or you can do a, like a quick service pickup and I guess maybe take it to go or maybe sit outside. So I would like to eat inside. Then let's try and eat inside. Excuse me. Yes. Should we order on the app first to do table? Yeah, so you can order on the app before you come in or you can order when you sit down. We can okay. get you a table now. We'll make people are your party. Oh, just two of us. Yeah. yeah. You want to go in now? I'll take your yeah. picture when we come out. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Just a second. Awesome. Thank you. Perfect. Hello. Yay. Oh, that's pretty funny. Yep. Have any questions? Or your wife? Okay, so we have officially sat down and we've got. A uh, couple of minute cups of water, which you can order in the app, which I really like. We don't have to go find them. And we've got our cup. But the weird thing is, is that that cup doesn't look like it has an RFID marker in it. So we're going to go over here and I guess it's supposed to work. I'm guessing. Look at that. Nice. All right, so sitting in here at the Minions Cafe, I will say it's a little interesting. We've never actually been inside of what was Monsters. So I don't know how big or if the space has changed at all or if there's more seating, but I feel like this isn't as much seating as I would have expected. But I'm also surprised that it's not more busy. And I kind of wonder if that's because of the menu options here, because it's not like your traditional uh, theme park food menu options for a quick service restaurant, which I actually really enjoy. I like having variety when it comes to being able to choose uh, some different things when it comes to eating. So um, we've ordered our food and we did it all on the app um, while we were sitting at the table. You can do it beforehand as well, but we they said they could see us right away. So we came in and sat down um, and like within a, just a few minutes, they had already brought over our drinks, which is really great. So, uh, you know, they know what they're doing. Things are moving pretty smoothly. And it's a really, really cool restaurant. I mean, like, look at this place. It's themed so well. I really like it. It's super cool. So part of our food has arrived, and I've got the steak and cheese ray sandwich. This is a French onion dip, roast beef, caramelized onions, secret sauce, cheesy blast pimento cheese on a cheddar and onion roll. And it's got this awesome little uh, squeegee thing. We've got the fluffy unicorn cupcake and the Otto's Pet Rock, which is peanut butter mousse, strawberry jelly, crushed peanuts, banana cake dipped in a chocolate shell. And look at those little <laughs> minion tater tots. That's why Taylor wanted tater tots. Yes, I did. <laughs> Just say what your sandwich is These are quick. like the smiley fries they used to have at school. Oh, that's true, they are. <laughs> what kind of sandwich uh, oh. is that? This is the Uncle Drew's belly fill-in pork sandwich. 
with slow roasted porchetta, chimichurri sauce, mustard aioli, apple butter, bacon jam, arugula, and it's on a Hawaiian pretzel bun. And then it's supposed to come with the chips that Josh got, but I didn't want those, so I got the minion tots instead. It was cheesy and it was really good. That's an awesome sandwich uh, for Universal and like the quick service stuff. So really, really good. I'm glad that I got this. I was kind of unsure, but uh, a lot of really great flavors here from the beef, the onions, the pimento cheese sauce, the secret sauce. It's really good. We are going to dive into the Pet Rock I think I can eat this. The flavor combinations are amazing. It is like a really great peanut butter and jelly dessert. I, really? I de yeah, I really don't like the part, like the shell. Uh, no, the, the, mousse? the mousse part is a little like airy and. You just don't like mousse. Yeah, the texture I just don't really care for, but it is really good flavor. So I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and eat as much as I can because it is. Oh, you should get some of the like Oreo there too. Some dirt. Yeah. Oh, there's a banana cake on the bottom, I believe, as well. Oh, is there? Yeah. Oh, peanut butter jelly banana. Pretty good. Oh, it's in it. It's in like a cup. Oh, okay. Actually, makes it easier. Just killed the unicorn. Well, I was expecting it to be just like vanilla flavor, but I think there's like some strawberry. Bubble gum? Oh, yeah, that's what it was. I remember reading it now. Bubblegum flavored icing, I think. Yeah. Okay, so we just finished eating inside of uh, Minions Cafe. Thought the food was really great. Um, it cost us, with an annual pass discount, because we are annual oh, pass holders here. we did get a discount, nice. Um, it cost us $46 and like 50 cents to get two entrees, two desserts, and a Coke. Mm -hmm. And like I said, you could order the water right on the app, so which is really yeah. nice. We didn't have to like ask for that after they already brought stuff. Yeah. just came with the rest of our drinks and so. it was a large coke that you could refill as well yeah. so we just shared that and then plus our little water yeah um but i thought that's like it kind of is becoming the standard price for quick service because quick service has become expensive over the years yeah. in the theme parks um but that was really good i thought, quick it, was good service food. Yeah. I thought it was good um, too and much better than just for us anyway just getting chicken tenders or a plain burger sure. um which you know every once in a while yeah we want that too but we like trying something that's a little bit different it was very good flavor though i enjoyed that sandwich a lot so now that we uh ate over at minions we got to do the attraction it's not really a ride um, yeah it's more of an attraction it, it's Villain really Con. cool though <laughs> and now that we did that, we've, we've ridden Minions before, so we didn't really need to ride it again. Yeah. But with our annual passes, we have Express after 4 o'clock. So we're going to go and try and take advantage of that because we really don't take advantage of it enough. We don't at all. So we're going to make our way over to Diagon Alley and ride uh, Escape from Green Guts. But I love seeing this because as we begin to make the turn, I'm guessing that maybe we're starting yeah. to get set up for... H-H-A. Yeah, Halloween Horror Nights, which is going to be awesome. I, I love coming to Halloween They're Horror already Nights. announcing some houses. They are. It, it's going to be great. So we've got a lot of stuff coming. but Stranger Things. Should be fun. So we are almost over. It does. Oh, it does? I can see it from here. So we're walking past the entrance to Diagon Alley because we're walking over to see if there's an address on the door. <laughs> Kayla and I were playing Trivial Pursuit Harry Potter Edition. And I didn't give her the answer, or I didn't give her credit for the answer, because she, they asked what, you know, what the address or what the name of the place was here. And she, all she said for, was Grimwald Place. No, not for here, but for like the Order of the Phoenix. Yeah. All and you I said, said Grimwald Place, but I didn't right. say the number. And Josh didn't want to give me credit because it's, it's number, number 12. 12. Yep. That's the answer. And it is always so busy in here. This feels pretty mild. I mean, I guess it's just, you know, no matter what you do, it's always a little bit of a difficult walk trying to come up through here. Always. Still by far, probably one of my favorites 
uh, well-themed attractions. They did so well. Taylor's taking forever over there, but how can you not like stop and check them all out? That's the one nice thing about waiting in line. It's pretty cool. Freeze Ray Pops. How is your $6 popsicle? Is it good? Uh, yeah. What flavor did you get? I got lemon mint. Mmm, it is uh, refreshing because it's been a little warm this afternoon. And I got the uh, blueberry lemonade, which is uh, pretty good. Alrighty, so Taylor and I have come to the Strongwater Tavern here at Sapphire Falls, not Portofino Bay. <laughs> and uh, we're sitting out here. It's uh, They have this little outdoor patio. Nobody's out here sitting. And it very well could be because in the distance, it is uh, starting to look pretty dark. Like it might rain. But we really just want to come out and relax and get some cocktails. If I ever find the back of this couch. It's deep. I'm way back here. And the drinks have arrived. Pretty good. So everything here at Strongwater Tavern, uh, as far as the, the drinks go, the alcohol drinks are all made with uh, some type of rum, which is really cool. So this is essentially a really cool rum bar. So I went with a rum old fashioned. It's been a while since I've had one. I feel like the last one that I had was on maybe, what was the last Royal Caribbean ship we were on? Probably is I think when we had my last rum old fashioned, I think, yeah. Between me and Alan, I think maybe might have had one. Oh yeah, because they had one at the one bar. Yeah. That was like their specialty cocktail yeah. or whatever. It was pretty good, so yummy. We've been out and about for a while, but we are now wrapping up. You can see it's starting to get dark. It's uh, almost, I think, like 8, 8.30. 8.24. We're gonna go back and maybe- 24. We're gonna, we're gonna go back and maybe order room service. I asked Taylor, we had four drinks. She had two of those. I had two rum old fashions. And I said, how much do you think it was? The smaller the drink, the more expensive they are. She first guessed 40 bucks, and then she said 60 bucks. We had four drinks. $70.29. Thinking that we are going to be able to get back and out of here, like now. And then I look down and I see this. Part of our $70 in drinks is Taylor's second drink that she hasn't even- I gotta make sure I finish it, okay? I wanna savor it. Good morning, everybody. It is, uh, it's day two here on our little staycation over at Universal's Sapphire Falls. And I just wanted to give you guys a little tip here before we kind of get started with the rest of our day, because the one thing that I have to start my day with every day is coffee. So almost all hotels now have some type of, you know, quote unquote Keurig uh, kind of setup and machine that you can use. Over here at Universal, they don't even have any type of branded coffee. It's all just, you know, plain whatever. But uh, this machine here, what I would recommend is that if you find that the coffee tastes really, really bad, to just run hot water through here like three or four times. And you'll notice like the first two times you run water through here, it looks like it's never been cleaned ever before. So just do that and the coffee will be a lot better. I myself uh, didn't use any of these. I've got one of these. It's a little uh, travel espresso maker. I can take this on the airplane with me. I can make espresso on the airplane. Uh, it's really great. And I make myself little Americanos, which is a great way for me to start uh, my day. And our day today, we'll be here at the pool. No, that wasn't bad at all. So we have officially made it. And uh, this is what we're looking at over here. So we've got uh, a nice kind of a couch over here. We've got a table. TV and inside we've got the uh, fridge and a safe and I think that might be a dry bag or something or maybe a cover and an extension which is really cool all these outlets so we can kind of plug in and then we've got uh, drinks those are all included the yeah and then uh, two loungers right here now I will say the only thing about this location is if you are adults like us who don't have kids and you want to kind of have like maybe less children interaction, that's a splash pad right there. So we might see a lot of kids out there throughout the day. Maybe not. It's a but, Wednesday, so I'm hoping we'll get lucky with the 
Sorry, I don't have a mic on. Nope. Never mind. Uh, but like Taylor's saying, it is a Wednesday, so we might get lucky. There might not be a lot of people down here at the pool. I will say that it seems like uh, a lot of the resorts here for the summertime, both Universal and Disney right now, seem to have lower levels of people staying here. So, but it's a really nice place and uh, it's a cool resort. It's a big, big pool. So I think it's still gonna be a great time today. Well, it is officially five o'clock somewhere, even though it's only 11 something. Oh, it says Sapphire Falls, Mom and the Cub. And yeah, we just got our drinks and it says Lowe's Sapphire Falls Resort. And it wouldn't be a pool day for me if I wasn't working on something. And Taylor's I'm over there I'm relaxing. As, no, I'm also working on my phone. But we got our drinks. These are the first drinks of the day. I'm sure we'll probably have more. I have got uh, what is considered to be like a Long Island iced tea. They have a different name for it here, but it's basically Long Island and it's the best way to go. And I always forget, guys, if you don't like cardboard straws, you need to bring your own straws, which I didn't do. Oh, and it's cardboard, so kind of gross. All right, and we now have our included fruit tray or fruit plate. Looks like pineapple, blueberries, grapes, strawberries with honeydew and what's the orange stuff? I cantaloupe. Hate cantaloupe, yeah, I hate that stuff. That's why I don't ever remember what it's called. But this is included. So we'll dive into this and then we'll probably order some food here in a little bit. All right, and we've got some food that has now arrived some french fries we got some wings and quesadilla over there and some drink refills so all looks pretty good uh the wings are 16 bucks for six wings so it is expensive to get your wings but that's chicken wings everywhere are pretty expensive um chicken quesadilla looks really good so i've got peppers and onions in it i think mm -hmm. uh with maybe uh, maybe that looks almost like tomatoes but hopefully not Sour cream on the side, and then of course we got the french fries here, and these look like pretty decent french fries. Mm, yummy. So we are almost about to wrap up our day here in the cabana at Sapphire Falls, which has been really nice. Uh, it's been exceptionally relaxing. And as always with a pool day, like I never video that much. Number one, because I don't think anybody really wants to be recorded while they're in the pool. But essentially, you know, like weather kind of closes down the pool deck to keep everybody safe. So they're gonna bring us a check. But um, yeah, I never really get that much video. I think people in the pool don't really want to be recorded, obviously, and walking around the pool deck. Uh, sometimes you just look like a weirdo, like recording people around the pool deck. So, but let me tell you this. So it is, uh, I think it's a really great option. I think it's reasonably priced for what we paid, which was like, how much? 250 bucks or something for the day? 250 for this cabana. You could also do the ones closer yeah. for free. So we did 250 for the cabana that we're in, and it literally is from the time that the pool opens to the time that the pool closes. Um, and I'm pretty sure that we can come back later if we want to, but we're gonna kind of wrap up and go eat dinner uh, at the Strongwater Tavern. So it's, I really think, uh, a really great option. And I think if you're here with a family, even better option, because it gives your kids a chance to get out of the sun into some shade. You have some included beverages uh, like water and soda. And uh, it's just really nice. I mean, like I said, our server has been great. He comes around, literally, it seems like almost every five minutes, checking to make sure that we have everything that we need uh, and that we want. So it's been good. Definitely would recommend a cabana if you're coming to stay at Sapphire Falls and looking to have kind of that break from the theme parks. It's essential. 